You ever seen guns like these? <laughs> Namaste fam, Wolfcore here, and today we're going to be going over the top five things not to say to your YouTuber friend. But first, I need to introduce you to my buddy, Bro. Please everybody give him a nice warm welcome, it's his first time here on the channel. So, dude, I'm Bro, good to meet you. Awesome Bro, well hey, thank you for joining us today, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself? Right on, right on. Well. First thing about me, my name's Bro. Everybody calls me Bro. You can just call me Bro. All right, Bro. Uh, I love to uh, I love to pump iron. I love to work out. That's the second thing you really need to know about me. I really love protein shakes. That's three things. And four, I love to buy designer T-shirts and cut the sleeves off. I'm just all about that, you know. Bro. Yeah, Bro. That's what's up, Bro. You ever seen guns like these? <laughs> oh my God, Bro. That's incredible. I didn't even know half that shit about you such a good guy. Anyways, chaps, Bro is going to be helping us today by giving examples of what not to say to your YouTuber buddy. Oh, what do I do in my spare time? Well, I make a lot of YouTube videos mostly. I do a lot of live streaming. I'm really, really passionate about making videos primarily. I love my community on YouTube so much. I fucking live for it. Oh, YouTube videos. Okay. Okay. So you want to be PewDiePie. I get it. Uh, no, 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 man. That That's not it at all. I, I don't want to be PewDiePie. He just happens to be one of the biggest creators on the platform. I totally have my own unique way of doing things, my own channel, my own vision, my own community. You know, I, I me and PewDiePie have like nothing in common, like honestly. Oh, YouTube. That's a cute hobby. My Nana knits. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know if I'd call it a hobby. It's more of a passion, really. I mean, it's not something that I make a ton of money at currently, but I, I am hoping that in the next five years it's something I could support myself at doing. But I don't, I don't know if I'd call it a hobby. That kind of seems to diminish all the work that I put into it. I mean, I put like 20 to 30 hours a week into my channel. Oh, you're a YouTuber. How many subscribers you got, bro? Well, it's not really about subscribers, but I've got about 750. Oh, oh shit, that's not that many. I know this guy with way more subscribers than you. Way more. Way more. Oh, yeah, yeah, they've got way more subscribers than me. That's that's awesome, dude. Thank you for uh, sharing that with me. But, you know, it's not, it's not really about the numbers for me. It's more about community. Like, I would love to have a huge community. What YouTuber wouldn't? But it's not really what it's about for me. Oh, okay, that's what your channel's about. I think I get it, kinda sorta. Didn't make much sense to me. But you know what you should do? Throw all that shit out the window and just do what I want. Well, you should, maybe you should get into it. If you ever needed some help, maybe I could help you get started, teach you about camera angles and how to talk to the camera and stuff like that. But I was trying to say. Let me ask you a question. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Well, I'm a huge fan of MF Pally Time. He's been a huge inspiration. Let me stop you right there, because I've never heard of him. But let me tell you all about my favorite YouTuber and how you could be way more like them. Then I might actually watch your channel. Okay, dude, how about you shut the fuck up and let me talk for more than one sentence? And scene. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. I didn't want this to come across as salty or anything, but on occasion, a little bit more often than I would like, I do have people kind of dominate the conversation when they're asking me about my channel, and I thought it would be kind of fun to put this out there. You know, if you're talking to somebody with a channel or any type of passion, if they're passionate about music, poetry, what have you, if you're asking them about it, make sure you give them time to respond. Like, I don't I don't know why this is such a common thing with people, but yeah, I feel like if people don't have something that they can relate to when you're talking about your passion, they kind of feel the need to take control of the conversation. Don't do that. Just, just sit back and listen and learn and uh, and enjoy yourself and get to know something new about something that you don't know much about. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I've never done anything like this before. It was a ton of fun, and I think we are going to bring Bro back in the future for some more videos and maybe expand on this idea even further. Hey, namaste, fam. Uh, thank you for watching. Be sure you like that video. Yeah, and uh, and uh, uh, what it, what it, beard hot, beard hot. What what about mustache hot? What about that? Anyways, yeah, make sure you like the video to support the channel. Make sure you leave comments supporting the content creator and uh, telling telling me how hot I am. Yeah, I know. Ugh, God 
damn, I'm disgustingly hot. Oh, yeah. And uh, did I forget anything? Oh, and uh, be sure to share on social media. We really like that over here at the uh, Wolfgore LLC. Thank you, fam. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. I see what you do on your channel. I mean, it didn't make much sense to me, but you know, whatever. Why don't you just throw all that out the window and do what I would do on my channel? Protein shakes and creatine. <laughs> let me ask you a question. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Whoa, let me stop you right there, because I've never heard of that YouTuber, and I don't want to hear not even one more word of that sentence you were getting into. Let me tell you all about my favorite YouTuber, though. This is so fun. Oh, I think we just unlocked the whole new fucking thing.